Hey guys, name's Finn, playing some Thief 2X, updated it to 1.20 and don't see any difference, which in my book is good, because really the bugs it fixes are mostly behind the scenes, and it's good that it didn't uh, wreck anything or check anything before it ruined anything. So anyways, yeah, <laughs> last time I went up in the church rafters and found a leg bone. It was disgusting. This time I'm going to go over here and onto this hidden side passage which I somehow managed to fall down without getting hurt. It's pretty good. When you can fall down without getting hurt, you can go into any relationship you want, I suppose. I don't know. Anyways, here is of course the spooky cemetery. And I think all of these say things. I don't know if these are references to like real life people or just names like Benja, Katia, Orin, I don't know. Long Saddle. I don't know if they just made them up or are referencing something because these do look like rather uh, in <laughs> fanciful names that nobody in the modern world would be named ever. So, uh, yeah. Who really knows about anything at all? I don't. What is this guy's deal? Are you going to attack me in a special crazy way? <laughs> Apparently not. But, however, there are a bunch of side passages around here. And I think I shall go into them. Oh man. Wow. Lock picking sure is great. Also, I'm hoping I'm not missing like a letter or something that I might have here, you know. Anyways, I pretty much just got this one crystal in my elemental catalyst <laughs> because yeah, I can't believe that I only got one. I mean, seriously, I want more than one because that's always better. Headache? <gasps> Get two heads. I've grabbed as much loot as I could carry, but there's still some left. I'm leaving this note for myself in case I dare to come back. I found a few of the laborers' tunnels to help ease my looting. Funny thing that, the workers tend to be the biggest thieves. There's evidence that the hammers were here recently, and I'm sure that they stashed something. But why here? Probably in the mausoleum itself. But I fear it is far too dangerous to negotiate alone. No loss. My next venture will be the Mystic Soul, and I hear that its worth is extraordinary. With no apostrophe in its oh my god! All right, I'm only going to say this once. Oh, if you want it to be possessive, that is just it. Yes, but if it's supposed to be a contraction, then it's it. Apostrophe, yes. Scalawag. Adolfo. Yeah, Adolfo was the guy <laughs> who, um, who was in Thief Gold, I think, who was looking for the Mystic Soul. I don't remember, but I mean, it seems plausible. But uh, I'm not going in this passage yet because this appears to be the way forward, and... You all know, y'all know how I hate going forward. Yep. Anyway. That's funny. This... I thought... I thought... I thought wrong! Anyway. I thought there was more than one passagey passage on that side, but I guess it's on this side where there's more than one. Yes. You can tell the age of a door by how slowly... It opens. Oh, hey. It's another leg bone. I cannot believe my ill luck. Wow. These certainly don't look suspiciously suspicious, do they? Well, perhaps not. Perhaps not. Right. That's my fear sound. Hope you like it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What a crazy time we're having. Alan Vanna, Kada Family, Sila, Mavro. These are definitely ye old names. Definitely. Oh. Alright there. Zombie in the Dell. Hi ho the Mario. Brothers. Hi, I'm Mario Mario, and I'm Luigi Mario, and I am really graceful with language. You might say I'm American. <laughs> Whatever. I constantly say hoof, so hey. A fire arrow, I wonder what that could portend, because it definitely portend something, doesn't it? Well, I don't know. Or do I? <laughs> There's another crystal to shove onto the end of my elemental catalyst. And that is that objective, which I actually need to do, so now I can upgrade my fire arrow as well. You get the sort of general idea. Now, it is now a flare arrow, or flare -o, and, uh, as opposed to a fire arrow, which, uh, which, 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 uh, which, 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 which does this. A flare arrow does 
This! Oh, and he did vomit. So, hey, that's what a zombie's vomiting looks like. It's a kind of light that the undead flee from, and it kind of causes them to get hurt in a regular fashion, I think. It's really a weird item, and I think that doesn't look as good as it's meant to. I think there's some glitch with the lighting there, but yeah, it's... <laughs> I love the legs. I love that zombie's legs, man. It just kind of hurts like poison from Final Fantasy and makes them flee. In my opinion, it really isn't that useful, and I never really use it. I prefer just a regular fire, but you know, that's what it does. So now that I've got all that done, I can go back to that place where progress lies. Unless I can read something more interesting in the graveyard here, such as... Oh, what? Such as, oh, what? Julu, Julor, Lija. Oh, come on. Oh, he's gonna touch me. That filthy guy is going to touch me. <laughs> well, I guess most of these are just sort of names. But still, I almost... Mila, man, Calvad. All these, all these names have, like, Ela in them. It's, it's very silly. Yes. Anyways, maybe there'll be something... More interesting here. Oh, well, there is. Because it sort of looks more dangerous. Finkel, Maza, Kazista, Tengor. However, yes, I do remember that there, there is a thing up here which is very delightful and tear jerking. But it's not that. That's just Yakub. I don't know who Yakub is, but hey. Sounds like the first part of a character name from Frickin' Otherland. Okay. White Magi. Magis. You mean? Anyway. Here lies LGS. You live on in our hearts and minds. Yes. Rest in peace, LGS. You do live on in our hearts and minds. I really can't add anything to that other than awkwardly repeat a beautiful phrase, making it slightly less beautiful. Eh, weird. Hey. Yeah. It doesn't matter, though, because I'm about to go into a passage that none can follow. Because I am the Eowyn, a.k.a. the other one, Arwen. A.K.A. Whisperetta McGee. Middle name cries a lot, okay? <laughs> now, <laughs> oops, now I'm in here, which is there. That's weird and that's weird. Like, <laughs> these are weird rooms. I must have to go in there at some point, but never you mind. I will be getting back in there at some point before the end out of semi-necessity for doing a thing, so yes. Is this the room which has, ah, uh, yes. A teleporting gem and uh, it kind of pops around and stuff I guess it pops around to <gasps> there among other places <laughs> yes I get the gem a skull falls on me and then it sort of stops teleporting it all it all works fairly well all right well <laughs> It's going to be irritating finding all the loot here because it's probably going to be quite hidden a lot and stuff, so I guess with that in mind, I'll start my search. Note, there sure are a whole hell of a lot of undead in these here cryptopsies, so, uh, you know, we're gonna have to be on the lookout for those, and also for some loot. I can't believe skeletons would be placed inside sarcophagi. That is ridiculous. I think that dead Yoshis should be placed in sarcophagi, but no, that's not what I think. I'm just imitating somebody else here, you know. That's what you do, apparently. So I guess I probably should maybe mosey on downwards. Except, I seem to remember that there's like, well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm remembering wrong and you're not even gonna know what it was I was remembering because I refuse to tell anybody. Ding, ding, rap a clock, a rap a lot. Hmm. God damn it, there is a place. Where is that place? If you know where the place is, tell me in the comments, and I will give you the vagueness award for knowing what I mean when I'm being vague. Well, it's a dead rat, and he hasn't decomposed, even though the zombies long since have. I don't know what to think about this mess. Hey, are those, is that not the top level of that or something? Probably not. How completely weird. How completely weird. Ugh. This is ridiculous. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Here's the place. Here's the place. But first I must check for loot around... Oh, hey. It's yet another tunnel, which I'm pretty sure is different from the last tunnel, because this one's down low and stuff. Oh, hey. It's this place. Oh. 
Hey, it's this place. That's pretty freaking awesome. Because... Four-legged beasts of burden. Anyways, I guess I'll place the convenient rope in the convenient woodlander here and try to go down this hole, which I've forgotten where it goes. Oh, hey, another room. That, yeah, it goes to another room. <laughs> I guess I can get with that, can I now? What? She went, ugh, for the second time and I was babbling over her. I don't know why she's acting like it was freaking burning potion or something. Yeah, now I'm down here. I guess there's actually three levels. How mad is that? Yes. Now you may be thinking, oh well, this looked pretty atmospheric, but now it's just a bunch of generic circular rooms. Well, that's not true. There's a lot more to this mission than that. I don't know why that guy cared about me going that way. Wait a minute, am I? It's a weird symbol in the ceiling. That symbol must be keeping the undead undead. I must destroy it with like a water arrow, except not. This is very trippy looking because it looks like a clone of that other room that's making you think you've looped around, but no. Oh crap. There are no such loopings going around here. Now I've pissed off all the zombies. It's really stupid. Oh hey, there's some loot. That's why I'm just looping around here all the time. Fortunately, when you know how to work the engine, it sort of isn't hard at all to avoid pretty much any AI at all. That's the dirty, huge secret of, of Thief, you know. Oh well, I guess I'll go here and try to remember what the hell this place is. Hey, it's more crypts. I guess these rooms are a little bit generic, but you know, they have to be here. I don't know why they do, they just kind of obviously do. But these zombies do sort of barf and vomit at you, so that's an extra sort of slight challenge because uh, they, they can spit things. Oh hey, this is where I came in. So, if this is where I came in, then what's the point of... This doesn't make any sense, man. Seriously, what? Did I just... But I just went... If this is where I came in, then what the f... How did I get turned around backwards? Jeez. Anyway. Oh, hey. I could probably kill some zombies with that, except that it shoots over lava and they won't walk there anyway. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I seem to be coming at this from the wrong direction, quote-unquote. But there is no wrong direction. Pretty sure I've seen all the proper cutscenes here, but hey. We are part of the rule of three, the four horsemen are we! Find the hidden lever and we shall open a path or two for thee. Well, you know where the hidden lever would be. These guys are perverts, and so they want you to spin the buzzer on their crotchal area. Rope, 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 rope. That's a little bit excessive, but uh, <laughs> a path, a path. That's not really a path, it's more like just, you know, an equipment box. But hey, I guess I'll go there later on because I gotta go into this portion, which... Since I've alerted those zombies, it's no longer difficult. There's supposed to be zombies walking along here and it's like hard to avoid and it's like really tense and awesome and stuff, but no, alas. We are part of the rule of three. Many of us have our gaze upon ye. Well, three isn't many, but hey, point taken. Last will and testament of Brother Brayson. I write this in the hope that the Builder will send a living soul to reclaim this letter. I do not understand why and how our expedition came to be, but I do understand that there was no possibility of our success. Most of our number were only acolytes, and only two older brothers have been on the field of battle. We came unprepared, and now I have just learned without proper equipment. Our hammers and arrows must lack the Builder's blessing upon them, for the filthy undead kill us one by one. Or you could have just used that fire crystal, but no, the tool of the trickster. <clears throat> it is my will that my younger brother Seth inherit the hammer from a room in the seminary at Sunnyport. If by some chance someone of our fold received this message and planned to pursue a like mission, understand that the key lies in wait here in this very room. I'm not sure how this ghastly puzzle is solved, but I now know that touching the wrong skull brings certain death. I stood too close as my arrow struck the blue one in the middle, and now I lay fatally wounded. It is doubtful that any of us will live beyond this day, though it is clear that Onam intends to use us to the last man to accomplish his goal. I fear it is the mercy of the Builder that I meet my fate here, rather than by the horrors of what must surely lie ahead. Yes, well... I don't know why he said she shot a blue one in the middle, but let's shoot. Oh, hey. 
Is that what happens? Whoa! <laughs> this is what I remember happening. It's like... What? It's like what? Anyway, that's that's pretty amusing. I can't remember which one it is, but I think it might be the yellow one. No. I thought it was the yellow one. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah, there he goes. That's the mausoleum key, and that's what that puzzle is. Who's that? What was that? It was like a little red thing that shot through there. Flying dead asbestos dust. By which I mean rust gas. What, what am I thinking? Anyway. Oh, hey. Well, it's some ghostly thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Uh, good, you just turn that way then. Why don't you? And yes, normally in, uh, what I used to do is come through here the other way, but you see there's this nice wall here that comes to crush you. And also, uh, I forgot. Piece of loot! Ah. And a leg bone. In case you didn't see, on the wall. But now I have to wait for this thing to go all the way back to the wall. Let's wait. Oh, poly object supreme. It's not a poly object, it's just an ordinary object. But hey. Mazalololius's right arm. More like trollololius's. I don't know. And hey, there's some fire elementals. Let's. Let's kick them all down. Kick them all down. Air their dirty laundry. God damn it. Okay, I guess I can waste a whole bunch of water arrows for no reason. Well, okay. Still got seven. Good enough. Now I'm here. Which, I don't even know what that is or whatever. I seem to not be remembering anything of worth. But, there's a big door, so that's progress, so clearly I'm not going to go there, but, uh, but rather try to loop back here, wise, I, I guess, no, this isn't the loop, is it, it's just going one direction, I don't know, man, this, this mission all seems pretty weird and undead to me, oh, hey, it's the Crypt of the Forgotten King, and this is where I came out when I went through that passage there, when I was like, oh, hey, it's this room, that, this mantling used to be really difficult without new mantling, you know, but uh, with, well, it seems to be quite simple. Now, I think, well, this might not be it. If there's a torch here, which there is, but you can't do anything with it, I guess this is the wrong room for it, something. All right, well, Crypt of the Forgotten King, let's hench in a go-go. I like all these like weird placey places here. Like the crypts of this and the super death skull of that, and it's just pretty awesome, if you ask me. Puzzly places and, you know, Tomb of the Nameless Riddler type places and stuff. So, what do we got here? I am a son of the Forgotten King. My life was shortened because of a drowning. Again, with the not quite so good poetry there, but, uh, yes. So, I guess you have to shoot water at it or something. Or. Well, there was a moss arrow here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. No, you have to do... Oh, yeah, of course. But it's really obvious. You just, you know, shoot the blue at the blue and a green at the green and everything will be great. That is, of course, loot. Pfft, who, who, who would even need such a thing? Jeez. I like the busted upness, like nothing's even and some things are falling over. I like it when loot is fallen over. It's pretty good. From the earth, this statue is carved and dedicated to the forgotten king's elder son. Oh, I guess I didn't read that one. May the Forgotten King's younger son find peace in the eternal lake of the afterlife. <laughs> that's pretty, that's pretty morbid. Right, well, you know, not much of a puzzle, but eh. Uh, An avalanche engulfed me in the earth. Now my eternal sleep is down here neath the turf. Well, I guess that's almost slightly better poetry, but hey. This might hold something more important. Hey, it's the King's Crystal Scepter. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. Now... I'm getting this first, and I'll explain to you what it does later on here. That is, if I don't find some explanation first. I am one of the rule of three. Inside my crypt, I hold a sacred relic for thee. Find my son who holds my crystal key. Oh, wait a minute. Crystal key. 
Oh, I see. Oh, no, it's not the scepter that does a thing, it's the heart ward, and it's a ward, and we'll find out what it does later-ish. Oh, hey. Red dust? How is it going? I like all these weird little things that happen. Is that thing going to go through the door again here? Is it capable of such an act? Probably. Let us watch it. Alright, I'm bored. Now, I'm going to loop back over here. All the way over here. And uh, get into this place, which I think is a portion of which I was speaking at some point before. And I'll show you what I mean. Oh, hey. Looks like they just sort of popped out of nowhere on account of that weird lighting. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, no. All right, well, he doesn't turn this way. Next! All right, well, he does. That's bullshit. Or not. Well, got eight fire arrows. Let's really put him to some use. All right. I love, I love that when, uh, geez, what is that one? Yeah, it's like Resident Evil 4 where you blow a guy up and then his legs just walk around for a bit and then splat or something. Or, or it's one of, yeah, the, that boss guy, that centipede-like boss guy in RE4, yeah, right? That's kind of like that. Sort of weird, though, because this game was in development during the time that somehow took place before Resident Evil 4 came out sometimes. Oh, yes, you can see a passage there, and, uh... There's probably some way to get at it, which I can never even remember. Oh, yes, it's this. <laughs> Whoops. I don't know, Resident Evil 4, what was it, like, 04, 05 or something? Maybe it was 05. I don't know. Anyways, I think that might be all there is to do around here. Well, hello there, my dusty friend. Whoa. How goes the dusting? Anyway, I'm sure it's not a new trope to have guys with their everything blown off other than their legs, so I don't know what I'm talking about some commercial games for. Uh, you may not ever have wondered, hey, I wonder if there's fire arrows along here. Well, you'd be right, or you'd be, like, wrong. I don't know. Anyways, there are some, and it's, it's pretty good because I already overcompensated by buying nothing but those, so now I obviously just gotta take even more out of the storehouse of doom. Which can sometimes mean fate. And... Yes. I suppose I can get over here if I wanted to. I mean, jeez. Oh, hey. I should actually shoot a rope over there. That might be a bit better of an idea! Yeah. <laughs> so I've certainly got enough rope arrows. What are we here? Dead hammers? Dead who knows what's? What are these things? They're scary. They're weird golemanizers. And I don't clack this at all. Brother Odom's wisdom shalt be our saving grace, for he set up a plan to scout out the catacombs with the acolytes. By chance there is a way to secure our cache of holy relics in the mausoleum. Our numbers are smaller now than at the beginning of our journey. However, we must manage to locate the entrance to the mausoleum. The doors are locked, but Builder willing, the key lays somewhere in wait somewhere in the crypts. The key lays wait somewhere in the crypts. Mayhap it sits in the unholy skull crypt where dear brother Brayson was slain by a trap. It feels as if even now some unseen spectre doth visit our quest, looking upon us from the shadows of this evil place. Now we sit and prepare for what is to come. Brother Stalworth. Well, if you were Brother Stalwart, you might have had better luck. But Worths are just better than Warts. Seriously. Everybody wants to have worth, but nobody wants to have wart. With that bit of wisdom, I leave you for now. Thanks for watching, and see you guys later.